All right, doing the water video. I'm out at Crabgrass Creek, Bull Creek Wildlife Management Area. Found well, a decent place to get some water. Everybody can see that the water, this isn't stagnant water. This water is running and you can see because we had so much rain. So we're gonna get some water there. I'm gonna put it in this 700 milliliter smart water bottle and I'm gonna filter it with this bandana. So this is a place that's deep enough on the side finger of the creek that I can get some water. So here we go. And that's not working too good, so I'm going to unwrap this, filter a little bit better. It wasn't holding it too good, so we're going to do this, and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. I couldn't stay down there very long because it's real hot out, and the skeeters are killing me down there. So this is a 700 milliliter smart water bottle. I got about 650 milliliters in there. Here's the rag that I filtered it facing down downstream and I can only get that much water because it was it was only that deep where I was filling it up. Here's an important uh, uh, tip for you. There's the rag that I was filling the water up out of the creek. Now this is Crabgrass Creek and it, it, we've had tons of rain so it's probably mostly rainwater that's filtering but i'm in a public hunting area and there's deer and hogs and turkeys and fish and and alligators and snakes and critters and raccoons and possums and everything and and uh, you know everything's polluting that water and i don't want to get giardia or cryptosporidium so here's the bandana that I filtered the water with so I wouldn't get any debris. And I, I did pretty good, there's nothing in there. Uh, so I bring along another one that's a clean one that I can wipe my face with and stuff like that because if you wipe your face with the dirty one, it, you might as well drink that. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna, that's almost 700 milliliters. I got some, we're gonna treat it with iodine. We're gonna give it the treatment. We're gonna give it the potable agua treatment. So I figure 700 mils. So we got about 650 in there. Two tablets does a liter. So we're gonna put two tablets in. And we're gonna time it. Put two tablets in. I figure that should kill anything. And we're gonna come back in five minutes and we're gonna see what it is. So we'll be back in five minutes. All right, it's been five minutes, actually a little over five minutes. And why the five minute mark is so important is, you can see that the iodine has turned the water uh, decidedly brown color. It was almost virtually 100% clear, but now it's nice and brown, so I know I got a shitload of iodine in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew the cap, squeeze a little water out of there, coat the threads with iodine, kill anything that's on the threads. I don't have that much water, so I don't want to waste too much. So here we go. All right. That's all it takes. Now, we're going to wait another 30 minutes. And we're going to come back and we're going to neutralize it with the vitamin C. And then we're going to run it through our Sorry Mini. So I'll be back. All right. This is either continuation of part one or part two depending on how much of an editing nightmare this is <laughs> okay it's been another half hour actually it's been over a half hour and this is nice and iodined up and um, I can still I can see some stuff floating around in there but I'm really surprised how clear it is uh, for being swamp water what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this the yellow ones the neutralizing agent so you could probably drink it like it is now, but it would taste like shit. It would taste like drinking a jar of iodine, but I don't think it would kill you. This thing says, wait 30 minutes and add 
two tablets. All right, so we get two of these guys. That's a thing. Put them right there for a second. Then wait three minutes. So these should turn this clear in not too long. So we're going to put them right in there. And give it just a little shake up and see what happens. You can already see it turning the water clear. So, rather than bore you with that, well, we'll pause it and see, uh, and come back in three minutes and see what we're doing. Now, uh, you can see, I wanted you to see before three minutes, they're, they're, they're bubbling up. The tablets are really, they're really doing their job at the bottom and now they are almost totally dissolved so well no that no they're not you can still see them at the bottom there but they are they're really they're really bubbling up and this water is is 100 percent clear so we're going to let it sit a few more minutes and come back and see what's going on all right we're well past the three minute mark our tablets are still dissolving at the bottom i don't know if you can see them they're, they're, they're still, yeah, they're coming up and down, and then one's floating to the top, and it's, uh, you don't really have to wait the three minutes, but this, this water is 100% clear. I'm fairly certain that all of the bad guys that were in there are dead. Now, I can still see a lot of particles floating around, uh, you know, and there's probably a zillion dead microorganisms in there, so... You could probably drink it right now and it would be okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out my Sawyer Mini. We're going to fill this up and rig up a gravity feed. And then we are going to, I'm going to show you how the Sawyer Mini works. So after I do that, I'll be right back again. Well, I figured I might as well talk to you while I'm filling up the Sawyer Mini. And tell you, man, it is one hot mother out here today. I mean it. Central Florida for you. All this probably isn't going to fit in here because this is only 16 ounces. And I got at least 600 milliliters. It's already filling up pretty good. Yeah, we're almost at the top here. We are at the top. That's why you disinfect your threads. If I wouldn't have disinfected the threads with the iodine water, I would have got it all in the soil you mini. So, I'm going to rig up this gravity feed. Be right back. All right. Here's where your paracoid comes in handy. Everybody remember when I reviewed my soil you mini, I put this little hunk of paracord on it. That's how we hang it. Loop paracord around there. Uh, I know that everybody carries their 550 paracord. Pull it back up here. Uh, unscrew our thing. Well, before we do that, let's get this ready. All right, down there. Unscrew this. Screw that on there. Squeeze a little bit out. Okay, it's already gone. going pretty good this should only take five minutes or so to get me 16 ounces of water so when it's done I'll be right back all right this is pretty cool we're right about it hasn't even taken five minutes and we're we're right just about right at the 16 ounce mark but as the water drains it's really cool. The Sawyer Mini Bag is flattening itself out. I mean, it's, it's really draining the, the last drops of water out of there. So it's really cool. And it, it's kind of moving along as it flattens out. And, it's, and it's, it's flattening itself out. There's just a few more drops to go before we are drinking. Nice. All right, so here we are. 
that thing gravity fed in about four or five minutes. And this is just the Nalgene 32 ounce container. And I can totally see absolutely nothing floating in that water. I mean, the Sawyer Mini took every single thing out. It would have probably been safe to drink with the glacier water, but the Sawyer Mini took everything out. Now, here's the test. All right, I did it all. I'm gonna do this. If I'm not dead in a couple of days, uh, I feel like I you know, accomplished something, but there you go, Florida survival. It is really hot and I'm sweating a ton. If I needed to, I could stay here for a few hours and I could get all the water that I needed for a couple of days. So the potable agua tablets work great. Uh, carry yourself some containers to put it in, don't forget that. Potable aqua tablets work great. The Sawyer Mini is just absolutely fabulous. I, I might get a, a bigger reservoir to make more water, but that's the only drawback of it. But here we go. There's there's no there's no earth taste, there's no mud taste, there's no nothing. This is better than the tap water that I get at my house. There's absolutely no smell, no iodine smell, no nothing. The, the potable agua took all that out, plus I filtered it through the Sawyer Mini. There's absolutely nothing in there. So, yeah, once again, it's Matt from Florida Boy Survival. Let's quench our thirst. Hmm. That's good. All right, water video epilogue. I'm all packed up, walking out. You can see I got my LC2 stuff on me today, which is just absolutely fabulous. The butt pack, everything else. It is really, really hot in Central Florida. We just had a tropical storm last week and it is so humid. It's about 10 after 11 in the morning. It is so humid out, I'm sweating myself to death. But wanted to test out the potable agua tablets, see how they work. They work just perfectly. And I also wanted to test out the Sawyer Mini, see how my gravity feed system worked. Gravity feed system was awesome. Easy way to rig it up. Everybody should put a little strap on their Sawyer Mini uh, reservoir bag makes it so much easier you don't have to squeeze it and it it's self-filtered gravity fed about 16 ounces of water in about three minutes so there's no squeezing no muss no fuss no runs no drips no errors so the potable agua tablets were great I probably it's probably overkill uh, running it through to saw your mini but you know yeah, I wanted to test it out. It came out absolutely clear. Better than the tap water at my house. Tasted just perfect. So I figure, you know, I drank enough to where in a couple of days, I'll know whether I got Giardi or Crypto. And if I do, I got a good video record of what I did. And I got a big lawsuit against Potable Agua and Sawyer Mini. So, hey, I could be rich, but I could just be Matt from Florida Boy Survival. So until next time, this is Matt. See you later.